Today we're going off to a place called the Blue Hole to do some snorkeling and diving. That's the Blue Hole right there, like where those people are standing. You can kind of see this like very shallow reef and then a huge drop off. All right, here's the starting point. We're just about to go over the edge into the blue hole. <laughs> Wow, that was a wonderful experience. Tons of animals. I think I saw every species of reef fish possible. So happy that we came at the time we came because it is so busy now. Pro tip, come to the blue hole, come early in the morning like we did. Good morning, folks. We're doing our first uh, real activity here in uh, Dahab. Today we're going off to a place called the blue hole to do some snorkeling and diving, which is very, very exciting. It is like the main attraction to come see here when you come to Dahab. And we didn't really get to much yesterday because it was kind of a full on day. So. We're heading out into the desert right now, we're on 20 minutes up the road, and then we'll be in the blue hole. It's very exciting. We also met a new Israeli friend, Nadav. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> very good. Enjoying your time here? Yeah, thanks. And you? Moshe and Amit, you guys excited? Always. Stoked. Yeah? Amit is gonna be doing a dive, and then Moshe's coming with me to snorkel up. Folks, welcome to the, the little village surrounding the Blue Hole. It is super freaking windy here. Thank you, Amit. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. But uh, check this out. It's literally like three feet from shore. You got the shore. That's the Blue Hole right there, like where those people are standing. So the diving company we're working with uh, called Orca Divers, they set up this cool little mat on the ground. They get you all prepared. Then we're gonna head into here. I don't really know how to film this considering the new video style I've been doing. So I think I'll make an exception and put some nice music for you guys to see the footage while we're diving in there um, for the next, I think me and Moshe will probably be swimming around here like little fishes little for an hour fishies. or something. Yeah, maybe an hour or so. I think it's enough. But you can see, I don't know if you can really see it on the camera that well, you can see the outer rim. It's not a perfect hole, like not a perfect circle. But you can kind of see this like very shallow reef and then a huge drop off like a massive massive drop off the only thing is so windy here then it's gonna be such a bad current and waves hitting us the entire time which will be kind of annoying but i'm very excited for this i haven't been in the water since i've done my lasik eye surgery i have not gone into do any sort of snorkeling or diving like that and i'm so excited to see underwater for the first time in my life properly without any interruption I'm like very, 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 very excited about this. And we're coming to the most amazing place to do it for the first time. Super cool, this small town right outside of the Blue Hole is just, it's like this tiny little town, a lot of touristy shops and little food and stuff. And it's nice because there's this big, it's kind of like a bay, there's like a big rim going around and uh, it kind of blocks off all the wind from hitting here. I mean, it's still very windy for normal diving or free diving conditions, but it's a lot better than what it is outside of here. So the cool thing is we're going in with the scuba guys in this place called Bells, which is just down here. Apparently it's a cool ravine system that carries all the way down towards here. So Moshe and I will be following them. We'll be able to show you guys what it looks like when they're scubaing. <laughs> when they said it the first time, I thought they were joking, but it's legit. This is for all the people who have died while scuba diving here or dying in this part of the ocean. I actually read online that the Blue Hole is one of the more dangerous places to scuba dive and a lot of people have died here in the past. Do you know how many? How many? 200. 200 people? Until uh, 2012, from the point that it was uh, a known diving site. So it makes it like eight, eight a year. Eight a year, huh? Eight, year, eight, eight people, yeah. Wow, that is pretty crazy. You feel comfortable going in, Moshe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here's the starting point. See there putting all the scuba gear on, starting over there. We've got Moshe and I quite a long way to go all the way down there. You ready, my boy? Let's do it.
lights. I don't know if you can hear me, but we're just about to go over the edge into the blue hole. It's right there behind me. <laughs> Super exciting. It's beautiful out here. That was a wonderful experience. That was amazing, huh? Amazing, amazing. Just exiting the water now. Okay, so we got a nice little table up here. Finished the dive, that was awesome. Super fun. Check this viewpoint out. You can see exactly where we went right now. I'm actually sorry, the confines of the blue hole. Look at that. That's the outer rim. We started down there, swam all the way across in and around over this little ridge into the blue hole and then did like a big loop around this thing, just like that. It was freaking phenomenal, it was so cool. I think it's a little bit better for scuba diving rather than snorkeling like we did, but it was amazing nonetheless. Tons of animals. I think I saw every species of reef fish possible. I saw clownfish, we saw triggerfish, pufferfish, everything. Everything you could imagine. We got mango juice in the house. Fantastic as always. Guava juice in the house. Mmm, excellent. Very yummy. What is this? Is it a melon? Wow, look at these giant breakfast plates for breakfast. It's already lunch. It's an interesting choice, but I respect it. <laughs> it's a nice large plate right here too. Opa. Wow, Spanish. Spanish over here. Thank you. Wow, this is a beautiful breakfast right here. Finishing up the breakfast here in the blue hole. I'm so happy that we came at the time we came because it is so busy now. Oh my God, the crowds have poured in. We had this place to ourselves earlier. Unbelievable. Look how many people are out here. Pro tip, come to the blue hole, come early in the morning like we did. 8.30 was the earliest we could uh, leave Dahab to come here and it was well worth coming here like an hour or two earlier. 25 bucks snags you this whole trip. Oh. Again, we're taking this orca divers thing and they, uh, 25 bucks, it takes care of everything. They pick you up, they drop you off. You obviously have to leave a tip to the drivers and the instructors. And then you have to pay a $10 entrance fee to come here to the blue hole. But other than that, it's pretty sweet. We're going to head back to Dahab now. It's the end of our last day here in Dahab. I wanted to show you guys what we're going to get up to in, uh, in, for dinner time. It's been an amazing day though today with the yeah, diving. It was really good. I hope the footage came out pretty good for you guys. This is my first time trying since I've changed the vlog style up to do something a little bit more cinematic. Uh, but we're gonna be walking alongside the outskirts of Dahab now. We're looking for more of a local place. We've been here for two nights now. You know, we, we've seen sort of the touristy side of things. We're looking to for something a little more local today. Uh, I wanna show you guys some of the local food if we can find some of it. So that's what we're looking for just here on the outskirts of the city. You can see the beautiful Egyptian desert in the background. All that is a mountain range. It, like right and left here is sort of the outskirts of the city and the main road that cuts right on the outside. Never seen before in my life and I would have never ever expected to see this in the middle of the desert in Egypt. Why this exists in the middle of the desert in Egypt is mind boggling. This is a freaking mobile ATM. What? How, do, how does it, how does it even work? Why? It's like none of them are working, but that's insane. I didn't even know that was a concept. I had no idea that that was even real. Have you ever seen that before? Never in my life. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Freaking National Bank of Egypt have mobile ATMs. That's so cool. In the middle of the desert. Who would have expected that ever? All right, we found a super local barbecue place. See, they're just barbecuing everything right here. 
Uh, so on the menu, they've got just a bunch of different El Kedawi. They've got a bunch of different uh, meats barbecued. So we're getting, I don't know what one third exactly means. Maybe it's one third kilo. Uh, we're gonna get mixed grill of kebab, kofta, and chicken. Kofta is kind of like a meatball um, and some chicken. We're gonna get some pigeon barbecue because we know pigeon is pretty delicious and one fourth lamb ribs if they got it. All right, so we started off with the, I think this is the noodle soup. Wow, this actually might be my favorite one that I've had so far. Super stocky, like meaty, yeah. All right, we got round number two here. This is called makshi. It's like an eggplant or zucchini or pepper, I think, stuffed with all kinds of things. I think it's mostly rice, rice and, and veggies, maybe, meat. maybe meat, but I think it's more on the rice. A lot of dill in there. Wow. The texture on that eggplant is unbelievable. I gotta say, for the budget that you're on in Egypt, the food is next level. Mm. It's gotta be one of the tastiest, most affordable countries I've ever been to. The food here is just next level. All right, so out came out the mixed grill. It's kind of like the kufta kebab. I think this is some sort of beef and then the chicken on top. It's unbelievable, man. It mixes 130 Egyptian pounds, comes out to roughly like five bucks. Look at that quality of meat right there. That is amazing. All right, so we got the one third lamb here. I don't know if this is the lamb rib or not. I don't think it is, but look at that. Beautiful fat all over. $23 for all of this food. And then some, this is not even everything that we got. I'm gonna take a bite here of the, uh, these insanely oily, fatty lamb ribs. Here we go. Oh man, that's so tender. Dude, you're gonna go crazy, that's so good. Yeah. It's even more tender. There's like tons of fat in here. Wow, 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 so tasty. Oh my God. I don't know what to do with my body right now. Chicken. And I saw him, he like beautifully marinated all of this stuff and cooked it on the grill. Mm. Wow. Oh my God, I mean the chicken is like, whoa. That was absolute catastrophe of food. We even got Moshe to come by. And you know what's nice in Egypt? I feel like, I mean, it has, I won't say it was the easiest to find vegetarian options, but there are vegetarian options. I mean, your vegetarian options are this, right? He's eating some rice with noodles, some green peas with tomato sauce, eggs, uh, potatoes with cinnamon. It's pretty good. And we just like can't finish the meat. It's too much. See this man hard at work. He's doing an amazing job. <laughs> the food here was phenomenal. I highly recommend it for coming to Sinai. Check this place out. I'm gonna leave the name over here so you can check it out. Well, Want to show you guys the night scene here. Check this out. Look how much more life there is than when we arrived here at five in the morning. Got a bunch of shops open. Up. Moshe, what are you looking? You want more oils? Oil. You, did, you didn't have enough of the $130 we spent on oils the other day. Did you check it? We didn't check my bank statements. Can we check it? Right now, I don't have internet. We have to do it when we get back. We got even carpet shops up in here. Oh, they have, they have literally snake oil. Unbelievable. Sandalwood. Nice. Mixed fruits? These are all oils, the just pure oil. Okay, we got the vanilla in there. We got a bunch of little oils. I don't know why we keep buying oils, but for some reason in Egypt, it just feels necessary to keep buying oils. <laughs> He's got some very extremely interesting objects and products in this store. This is ostrich fat. Camel marrow. Didn't you tell me there was a snake something, right? There was a snake oil on the door. I don't I don't even know. I, th I thought snake oil was a joke. I didn't think there was an actual thing. Look, more ostrich fat. It's interesting, man. There's a lot of interesting products in here. We got a little bit of ice cream. Oh, she has your cream. Weird. Strange? Not the best ice cream I've had in my life, but it was cheap. It's unbelievable, guys. How many of the Bedouin Arabs that are ethnic to this place speak Hebrew because of the amount of Israeli tourists that are here? You can pretty much communicate in Hebrew in a lot of places here. Almost, I would say around 80%, 70% of the conversation can be handled in Hebrew. It's pretty impressive. Very lively tonight as well. It's cool too, there's this little uh, walkway bridge here. This is where we swam yesterday. And it leads you to like the second part of the town. That has a little bit more hotels and action. A lot of fresh fish restaurants too. Give you guys a final look of how popping it is. How many people there are here? Tons of it. I would say at least 50% Israelis, 50%, you know, Arabs from around the world. 
Actually, I didn't do this calculation right. I would say like 90% Arabs and Israelis and then 10% just mixed between different nationalities. But it is popping up and down. It's very, 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 very busy. I will make it for subscribes. Subscribes? <laughs> yeah. I just and buying it. me good price. Good price. <laughs> How you say subscribe? Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. I like subscribe is good. Guys, this is the end of the video. We have so much left to explore here in the Sinai Peninsula. We didn't even scratch the surface. It was so much fun. The Egypt trip in general was amazing. Incredible. If you haven't seen the other videos, I highly recommend you do. We'll see you guys in the next one. I love you a long time. Goodbye, class.